Hello and welcome to the Jail Games Combat Arena Featherweight Fury Championship, where we have eight featherweights hoping to be the champion. As always, we have our two house robots, Weapon of Choice, and the Red Baron, which is very unfair because they are much bigger than our competitors today. So first up, we have Hatchet against 360, and the house robot this time is the Red Baron. Okay, here we go. And already Hatchet going after the Red Baron. Shouldn't be doing that. And he's stuck on his side for his trouble. The 360 took advantage of that. Oh! A massive hit. I would have thought that would have twisted the arm of uh, Hatchet off, but 360 is still spinning. Hatchet is still hacking away. After that initial scare. Look at the sparks. Red Baron is a bit confused. Haha, <laughs> doing a backflip almost. Good grief. Ferocity of these attacks. I think the question is whose weapon is going to break first? Repeated assaults on each other's weapons. hit after hit. You've got to give aggression points to Hatchet here for just doing such a marvellous job. Oh, but there we go. The arm is off, but 360 is in trouble. It's upside down. Being shoved along the floor. Could it be pitted? It does look like it actually fit through the arena wall. The gaps in the arena wall, but I, I don't think it will. shoved onto the immobilizing grid. Are they both stuck on that grid? I think they might very well be. No, Hatchet, Hatchet is free! So there we go, 360 after doing all that work is out. So Hatchet have got major repairs to do and are now upside down for the Red Baron to play with bit of a miss. I think he wants him in the pit. Not succeeding. Come on, you're much bigger. You should be uh, doing this easily. Good grief. Oh, you're back on your wheels. Oh, for goodness sake. Come on, Red Baron. He's a featherweight. What are you doing? This should be easy. Oh, there we go. Oh, into the ceiling. Well, Hatchet are definitely through, but at what cost? There we go. That was a perfect hitting. But there we go. Hatchet through. Okay, that was a surprising end to that fight. 360 doing all the work and then getting immobilized. Next up we have Rip 2 against Little Hitter and the house robot this time is Weapon of Choice. Three, two, one. Okay, here we go. Goodness me, what a flip already by Rip 2. Going in underneath Little hitter. Little hitter getting tossed around. And again on the immobilizing grid, which seems to have taken another victim. Already happened. We saw the same happen to 360, and it has happened again to Rip 2. But look at the power of Rip 2. Able to flip weapon of choice. A much bigger machine. Well, humiliation for the, uh, the house robot here. It looks like it has also been immobilized. What are you doing? No. 
Well, RIP 2, to be fair, has also seemed to have beached itself, but, uh, well, looks like we've got a, uh, con a good uh, contender for this final. RIP 2, winning in Gaines Weapon of Choice as well. Well, that was a surprise. RIP 2 beats everybody, including the house robot. RIP going through. Next up, we have Inertia XL against a new one for the show, Spanky. The house robot this time, Red Baron. Three, two, one. Okay, here we go. Red Baron getting out of the way as Spanky comes into play. Spanky has the crushing and lifting force. Inertia XL. The spinner to destroy. Which one is going to do the damage first? Well, at the moment, it's ring around the rosy. Not particularly entertaining. Red Baron not happy. Oh, now Inertia's going after him. It's nearly going into the pit. This is what happens if you have a boring fight. The house robot gets involved. Now he's separated again. Left them to it. And what is happening here with Spanky? Trying to munch on inertia. This is better. This is what we want to see. Blow after blow. Oh! Inertia went first. Got flipped out of the ring into the pit by Spanky. I'm not sure how, but it happened. Inertia is out. Well, another surprise. I didn't think that Spanky was going to be able to dispose of Inertia, but it certainly did. Spanky going through. Next up, we have Explosion 2 against Hyperoid. Weapon of choice is the house robot. Three, two, one. Okay, here they go. An explosion getting beaten up by Hyperoid already. But, here goes explosion. No! It's riding up on the disc each time. And under severe pressure, pushed against the wall. This is not looking good for Explosion 2. But now it's got the upper hand. Flipping Hyperoid. Once, twice. Self-writing. Another good flip. And another good flip. Well, now it's getting under him all the time. They're looking at a very good match. Hyperoid once again getting underneath with that spinning disc and causing lots of damage to the underneath. Constantly under pressure. And now getting shoved towards the immobilizing blocks. Still managing to get away from that, which is good. And now they seem to be... Oh, another fantastic flip. I was going to say they look trapped, but they're not. Weapon of choice watches on. No need to get involved in this fight. Explosion now, though, looking a bit stuck on the grid. But no, it's free. Hyperoid has done so much damage though. It's going to take a good flip from Explosion to get anywhere. And here it goes! Oh, so close to getting immobilized. And now the flipper arm's gone. Explosion 2 has done very well, but look at the damage sustained. I think Hyperoid could go all the way in this championship. Bit of a stalemate there. Seems they can't now. 
reach each other, which is a bit annoying. Oh. Oh, some sparks fly. I think explosion is dead. We have an immobilization. So now it's up to Weapon of Choice to deal with Hyperoid, if he can. Quite a machine for its small size. There we go, Hyperoid, the winner. Well, that was probably the most brutal fight so far. Hyperoid completely taking Explosion 2 apart. Hyperoid going through. Next up, we're going to take a break from the main competition and have a heavyweight classic rumble with Lightning, Cerberus, Stinger and Steel Avenger. Okay, here we go, four classic machines. Stinger spinning madly. Cerberus on top of Lightning, but Lightning not firing the flipper. Lightning doesn't seem to want to fire. Steel Avenger doing quite a bit of attacking on both Lightning and Cerberus. Stinger spinning madly as always. And now Cerberus and Lightning are having a go at each other. Steel Avenger putting the axe in on Stinger. What a strange machine Stinger is in this. It seems to stand vertically rather than using it as a mace. Oh, goodness me. We had a, uh, a small glitch. <laughs> Only a slight glitch, nothing major. But uh, the uh, Steel Avenger lost its cover. Stinger is still spinning madly for some strange reason. Dancing on top of lightning. It's chaos out there. Oh, I wish it was chaos. Chaos 2. But here we go with... Um, it looks like Cerberus is actually chomping on Steel Avenger. Actually having a bite on it. While lightning and Stinger have a, have a little dance party. Oh! There is smoke coming out of Steel Avenger, and I think Steel Avenger, the most aggressive probably, has died. So who are we left with now? Cerberus has lost his head. <laughs> I don't think it was doing him much good when he had it on anyway. And they've all ended up in the corner. So who... What is there to commentate on here? Lightning backs away. Cerberus! He's gone in the pit. Cerberus has gone in the pit. All by himself. Under no pressure. So now we're left with the uh, Dancing on Ice contestants. Um, <laughs> who is going to win this? Who, could, who has done the most damage? Probably Stinger, to be fair. But where's the control? Unfortunately, Robot Arena 2 is based entirely on damage points. There are no control or aggression points. So it looks like on that criteria, very limited as it is, Stinger is the winner here. I could be wrong. But as we approach the final seconds, we'll see what the judges have to say. And as I thought, Stinger takes the win. Okay, back to the main competition where we have Hyperoid against Rip2. And the house robot this time is of course the Red Baron. Three, two, one. Okay, here we go. And they're going after the Red Baron some reason but now now they meet in the center they do not like house robots in this game and it's just as well because oh I thought we were gonna have the uh, Red Baron immobilized then 
seems that neither of these machines can get under each other. Can't get under the other, but now Rip takes advantage, shoving Hyperoid into the wall. And we're looking here at a fantastic flipper. Hyperoid now getting an attack on the side, but doesn't really connect. And another huge flip by Rip. Rip the flip. It seems that Hyperoid is now capitalising on that uh, attack. Trying to take uh, Rip towards the pit. Try and hit him in with the disc, but Rip now getting underneath, getting advantage. It's tip for tap, and Hyperoid going after the Red Baron here. Shouldn't be doing that. You haven't won yet. Another attack on Rip. Rip pushing him towards the wall. That's exactly what they need to do. But they've now exposed themselves. Oh, goodness me, what a hit. What a hit from Hyperoid. They've taken him out. And now Hyperoid going after the Red Baron as well. For such a tiny machine, the power in it is ridiculous. The Red Baron not quite sure what to do about it. I don't think you can understand how this little guy keeps hitting him so hard. Now getting the attacks in. He just can't seem to get his nose underneath him. But whatever the outcome here, Hyperoid goes through to the final. And I think we could be looking at the champion of this entire endeavor. Oh, it's quite an impact. And in fact, the Red Baron is smoking. Damage caused by little Hyperoid. Something broke there, I heard that as well. Well, the Red Baron's still alive, but look at the damage caused by such a small machine. Well, what a fantastic battle. Rip 2 fought well, but in the end, that fantastic spinner of Hyperoid just shoved it straight out of the ring. Hyperoid going through to the final. Next up, we have Spanky against Hatchet, and for the last time tonight, the House Robot, weapon of choice. Weapon of choice being attacked by the two little machines. Now they separate. Look at Hatchet, look how mad it is. They've done fantastic to repair after the beating it got from 360. Spanky having a bit of a munch on it, but not doing much. Weapon of choice seems to be completely out of control. Impact after impact from Hatchet. I don't think Spanky can cope with this for long. Uh, don't go after Weapon of Choice, that's, that's a silly idea. Quite near to the pit there. I want to keep away. I'm sure they both got the capability to push one into the pit. Once again, Spanky trying that lifting technique to kind of flip the opponent. Hatchet are doing wonderfully here. It's just impact after impact. Wonderful to see a new machine as well, a new design in the show. Already Hatchet getting flipped again by Spanky. Spanky is a dark horse here. Those forks are quite incredible.
Just hit after hit. And once again, Spanky flips. A surprise flip with those forks. That could be what wins it. That surprise jump from those long forks. But on an aggression, you have to give it to Hatchet. We're in the last 30 seconds of the fight, and once again, Hatchet's axe has gone. And what does this leave? It leaves Spanky going after Weapon of Choice for some reason. He's had enough of uh, Hatchet. Oh, and Weapon of Choice has uh, decided to go in the pit by himself. Well, five seconds left. I'm sure it's still Hatchet's fight, but what a fantastic fight put up by Spanky. There we go, Hatchet. Look how close the points were. That is crazy. Well, after an amazing fight against Spanky, which put up a brilliant, brilliant performance, Hatchet goes through to face Hyperoid in the final. The house robot for the last time this evening, the Red Baron. Okay, here we go. And the hatchet going after the Red Baron. Hyperoid going after the Red Baron. They do not like him. But now the proper fight is going on underway. Look at this. The spinner of Hyperoid, the axe of hatchet. I can't predict who's going to win this. It looks to me like Hyperoid has got the upper hand here. Spinning Hatchet around madly. It's in control. The Red Baron's eyes boggle in disbelief at this display. And there he goes. Well, Hyperoid has won. But now we've got a whole two minutes <laughs> of him fighting the Red Baron. The Red Baron's got a claim this with a house robot. You can't let a little machine like this get away with humiliating the house robots. Fantastic performance the whole way through. Hyperoid is worthy of heavyweight status in this game. It could quite easily dispatch the best of heavyweights in this mod pack. And I think this is going to be a better fight than Hatch it. Red Baron is having trouble dispatching this little annoying machine. And in fact seems to be stuck. Hatch it itself seems stuck. What can the Red Baron do? And apparently Hyperoid wins that too. <laughs> well, undefeated. Humiliation for the house robots. Well, there we go, guys. Hyperoid wins the Featherweight Fury Championship. Tune in next time for more fantastic robot fighting action. If you want to see more episodes of this game, or any other robot fighting game, or any other game, in fact, on this channel, please let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe if you want to, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.